Hello Sagittarius, these are your tarot cards for March of 2023. I'm Danielle Stimson of Learn Reiki Philadelphia, and if you'd like to learn more about my live online Reiki certification courses, community discord, crystal shop, or anything else about me, go ahead and check out the link in the description or visit learnreikiphiladelphia.com. So let's go ahead and take a peek at your cards. All right, so Sagittarius, first things first, this is really not a bad month. This is a pretty great month for you. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty, and it's it's all kind of um, practical. It may make some practical sense, but there's a lot of good opportunities and you're in a good place to make the most of it. So getting things started off, this is the focus of the month is going to be the page of wands. Pages are all about news and messages and new foot forward. They're a little bit kind of... um. It's not the most mature energy, but it's meant for like starting um, a very initial energy and sort of a new step forward. And wands is in action. The focus this month is on new ways of living your life, uh, going through different tasks, getting things done, but all about these new actions in your life from every part of your life, really. But that's going to be the focus. Lots of new opportunities and taking advantage of them. How did you come into this month out of February? We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a, a card of abundance, usually financial or in some way resource motivated. Some of you may be like, oh, wow, I have more money than I thought, or I found a way to save more money than I thought. For others, it's not going to be so much of for others, it's not going to be literal coin. It may just be because pentacles also really support not just coin, but stability, resource need. So that can be a, a better situation with your living arrangement, with your job, whatever that might be. But there's an abundance of your basic needs being met. So... In either case, you're kind of coming into the month with a new note of security as far as your basic needs and resources. What is the challenge for this month? It's really not even that much of a challenge. It's another page. So another burst of like new news, especially in regards to, again, that pentacles, those literal coin and resources. So the challenge being how to balance this like, oh, cool, I have a new sense of stability. I can like go forward and do all these things I've been wanting to do because of all of this resource abundance. You now have the challenge is going to be to be as pragmatic as you can. So to take those resources and not just go, oh, cool, I can go and do whatever I want, but like kind of Definitely staying in the, yes, embracing the new, absolutely, but also thinking about how it's going to impact you down the road, how this is the best way to use this new sense of abundance and sense of stability in your life so that you're using this new energy, but balancing it with that stability so that it, they kind of come together and work in your favor in the long term, which we will get into a little deeper in this reading. What's the best way forward? It is the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is we see somebody coming back into back into a city and is being celebrated. Celebrated for their acts. If this was like a Middle Ages kind of scene, which is what this imagery is based on, a concept of the Middle Ages, this would be someone coming back in who had served as a, a knight or in some way, and now they're being celebrated for the contributions and the actions they have taken that have benefited the whole. This is basically saying the best way forward is look at what you have completed already, what's been celebrated, what's good, and stand on the shoulders of your own accomplishments. So rather than taking that page of one, oh my goodness, all the new things, rather than just grabbing at whatever opportunities you suddenly now have access to, look at the things you've done that have kind of put you a little farther ahead. And think about building some natural continuation on those successes, those milestones, those wins that you've had in the past, 
on things that maybe you've had to put away for a little while because things were a little unstable, you had to refocus your attention. Now you can bring your attention back to those intentions, those plans, the hard work you've put out in the past and continue on that path. So the best way forward is to be practical, as practical as possible, still with that energy of newness, but definitely continuing on what's already worked for you, what's already been a good thing. Next and last card is the Whispers from Your Guides, which is exactly what it sounds like. If your guides could pass you uh, a secret note. And here we get the Queen of Pentacles. So this is another face card. Face cards are queens, pages, kings, and knights. They can be literal people. And in, until this point, it was definitely referencing you. This one for some of you will reference you and for some of you may reference you and a kind of mentor in a, a sense. So Queen of Pentacles is someone who is a much more mature a much more mature version of our page of pentacles. This is someone who takes a look at what is as far as resources and stability and finds a way to not only grow it, but a way to share it where it's, you're not robbing from Peter to pay Paul, creating this natural extension of wealth. It's in a sense, if we look at it just in dollars and cents and stability, a queen of pentacles would be someone in a, a large family that maybe had means and saying, you know what, I'm going to plan for the long term rather than just passing things down. I'm going to build a trust so that everyone can benefit for a longer period of time. Or someone saying, wow, I have this extra money, you know, maybe I'll start a second business and I'll be my own supplier for something. It's taking what is there and managing it a little bit bigger, but with the intention very much of stability, security. So this is someone who's planning for the long term. So right now, this reading in a nutshell is saying, yes, you've got this new stability. Yes, you've got this angsty energy to just run down and do all the things that you've been waiting to do for so long. The only advice that they're giving you is like, remember, you're going to really want to pay attention to like this new opportunity so that it continues to build and grow stability for you and even financial growth for you rather than just sort of doing all the things you've wanted to do without a plan. This queen of pentacles is you to a point that you want to embody that, that like, how do I take this and make it bigger? It also can say to go and seek out mentorship or guidance or support from someone who has the same kind of mindset, whether that's a professional, like a financial planner or something along those lines, or somebody in accounting to help you figure that stuff out the best way to use your resources or even just someone you know personally or professionally that you can sit with and take some guidance from or use as an example as you make your decisions so you have an abundantly wonderful month coming ahead and it's going to be a bumpy month there's a lot going on but Overall, you're in a better position than you had been, and you're going to an even better position. So Sagittarius, I hope you have a beautiful month ahead. I definitely recommend that you check out the videos for your sun, moon, and rising sign if you happen to know all three. Any other major placements for you, that'll give you an idea of the other influences at play and kind of give you a more holistic idea of how the month is going to unfold for you. I definitely recommend if you found this helpful to hit the like button and consider subscribing if you want to see what's coming up for you in April. And if you want to join me for my five times weekly live stream here on YouTube, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button so you don't miss an opportunity. We do crystals and Reiki and it can help you with whatever you have going on. Thank you so much for being here, Sagittarius. Have a beautiful month. You have absolutely earned it. And I hope to see you again in April.